So today I'm going to be sharing a case. Um, this is the removal of a broken instrument from a central incisor using the Endo Cowboy. Um, this tooth is, is actually very long. It's 32 millimeters in length and, and a large piece of instrument broke uh, to the level of the CEJ. And the crown of this tooth is actually uh, very large so that the, even though you can see the instrument through the microscope, it's about 15 mil millimeters down from the incisal edge. Um, so the Endo Cowboy was a good tool here to, uh, you know, grab a hold of this instrument and pull it out. The Endo Cowboy is a micro lasso tool that uh, is designed to allow you to, to grab onto files that are located deep within the root canal. Um, it has a disposable tip um, and the tips come in three different sizes. Uh, 0 0.08 millimeters, 0 0.1 millimeters and uh, 0.12 millimeter wire. So because in this case there's you know the access is, is quite good you could you could see the file clearly and there's there's quite a bit of room there. Um, I chose the largest diameter so the 0 0.12 millimeter wire. Um, so the file there it is it's triangular and cross section. Like I said it was about 15 millimeters down from the incisal edge. So just a little bit too far down to to grab onto to with other systems that we had. Um, so here I'm trying to see how loose it is and you know you can move it it is loose coronally it may be bound further down but at the top you know you can move it around a little bit but because the canal has a curvature towards the uh, pallet um, the file tip tends to straighten out so it's resting against a buckle wall so my concern was how how am I gonna get the lasso wire around the um, you know around the file buckley so that I can grab onto it with enough, uh, you know, grip to pull it out. Um, so I, I tried, in this case, I tried troughing and uh, I just didn't want to open the access any more uh, than it already was. So troughing really didn't do much. Now I'm trying to bypass it with files. So I used uh, K files and then Headstrom files to see if I can pull it out somehow and then I use the even the braided headstrom technique to to uh, try to grab onto the the file and pull it out but it basically didn't move at all so basically it was still trying to uh, rest against the buckle wall so there's the loop of the lasso and it's angled towards the pallet you can see it um, seated around the file but it's actually not even fully seated so I only was able to grab onto two sides of the file and you can tighten the wheel and you can actually feel it so there's a nice tactile feel you can feel um, the, the wire getting tight around the file so you know when you have a good grip on it. You don't want to over tighten, but there you can see the file starting to come out. So I'm impressed on how tightly you can grab onto the file and how much force you can you can use to pull. And uh, you can see in I actually didn't grab onto too much at all. I barely caught two corners of that file and it was enough to get it out. So a uh, very nice tool, uh, very useful, and I'm sure it's gonna come in handy for, for many years.